all set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the former World Series champ, MVP, and Rookie of the Year, Buster Posey. First pitch on its way. Ball. Posey is one of the few true superstar hitters in the game. You're no doubt aware of it, but it doesn't matter who he's facing. He's a major league threat to hit the ball hard somewhere just about every time he steps into the box. Yeah, one of the best hitters and, and truly blessed by the gods, but I don't think people realize the amount of time and effort this guy has put into honing his craft to become one of the great hitters in our sport. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. The one two. Misses, ball two. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. Another try at 2 2. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Now another 2-2. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work. But I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. Brandon Crawford digging in next. And she'll yeah. take strike one on the inside corner. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Right fielder looking up, and it's gone! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And the Giants have struck for a run. It's now a two to one ball game. Well, it took long enough, but they're finally on the board. We might look back at this shot as a spark they needed to make their bats come alive. Then again, it might just be a blip on the radar. We'll see how the rest of the game unfolds. Here's Chris Bryant now. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 0. This is on the ground over to first. Scooped up, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The center fielder, number five, Mike Yaslensky. Striding in is Mike Yastrzemski. He flew out in his last A.B.
Now the first pitch. And yeah, she'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heater. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. So two pitches in a row on the outside corner for strikes. You think he stays out there? I think he does. One thing you don't want to do, though, Matt, it's not a good idea to throw the same hitter, the same pitch three times in a row, back to back to back, but I think he might throw it here. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And he is in the second with a two-out double. Now batting. The right fielder, Ramon Wade Jr. So now to the plate, Lamont Wade fouled off. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Fouled away. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. And that one got a piece of him. This is a perfect example of why the slider is such a great pitch and such a dangerous pitch, too. Sometimes it moves so much that you just lose control of it. This one runs way too far in, and the hitter is standing on first as a result. So stepping in is Evan Longoria trying here to plate the tying run from second. First pitch on its way as he'll take a change up here for strike one. Hey he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. The 0 1 offering. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. The discipline has just been completely absent from this offense. Seems like they're always finding themselves behind. But we'll have to press pause. Is that strike three to retire the side? Ah, uh, when the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Mets, two, and the Giants, one. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And here comes the first baseman, Pete Alonso. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Ball one. One ball, two strikes. And it's fouled away. Another one sent foul. Try again, one, two. Uh, got him swinging on the split fingered pitch, and that's out number one. So, with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And, folks, that is not a misprint. He's been clocked at over 100 miles an hour so far. My goodness. 
No one on with one down. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. If he's able to locate that two-seamer down at the knees, he's going to get a ton of swing and miss and a ton of ground balls today. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. A swinging no strike, and now it's 0-2. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk, coming right after him here. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. I got the count. One and two. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. And a fastball blew it right by him, and they're two down. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. And that brings up Javi Baez. Nope. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now the 1 0. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. two. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets, as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Digging in will be Kevin Gossman, flew out last time up. The pitcher. First offering on its way. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. On he takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Oh, this one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far in this one. And there was another good fastball for a strike out there. Here's Tommy LaStella now. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Oh. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1-0. Oh. Hit in the air down the right field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. And he can't oh, catch right the there. corner here, so he's behind three and one. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Three and two now. Fifth inning, two to one our score. And nope. he lost ball him four. here on three two as that pitch misses its ball four. The first baseman, number nine. Brandon. One out, runner at first, and standing in now, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Brandon Belt. 
Has a look, now the pitch. Aye. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. La Stella, base runner at first with one out. Oh, and he dusted him off the strike, plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. From the stretch. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. To two oh, balls and two strikes now. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. One run on three hits and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. From the stretch, Buster Posey is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Hey, he's been on point from the start of this game, just pounding the zone with a high 90s fastball. It almost looks like he's gotten stronger as the game's gone on. And he fouls this one off. One, ball, one and two. two it's a great job to lay off on that nasty slider right there. It's the toughest pitch. It was my toughest pitch to lay off of. I was always sitting fastball middle away. And when that slider came out, boy, did it look like a heater for a long time. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. One left for San Francisco. Our score remains two to one. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball. And that's inside for a ball. 1-0. Oh. Now the pitch. Nope, oh, that's off the plate. Ball hey, two. after the double in his first at-bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Now the 2-0. Taken on the inside corner for strike one. A little early, and now it's even at 2-2. Two and two. Now the pitch. Hit on the ground is short. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So the next to bat will be James McCann. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And now the first pitch. Ball now one. a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't Ball quite one, catch no the bottom of the zone. And Ball. 
slider oh, stays down. outside and he falls behind 2 0. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Swing and a miss on what should have been ball three. Instead, the count goes to two and one. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Ready with the two and two. Two runs on two hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Now a flare out toward right center. Lestella ranging into the outfield, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, d -Row. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. To the plate now, Jacob DeGrom, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. It's taken. Now it's 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Standing in now, Jonathan Villar. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. No hits to this point. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Oh, and he's really no getting the better strikes. of him now. It's strike two. Not too many guys taking the mound today with this good a split. Look at the downward action on that thing. It's falling off the table. A ball and two strikes now. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Mets strand one. They lead it two to one. Now with the plate is Brandon Crawford. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. First offering on its way. 1-0. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Hey. Strike taken up in the zone. And through just five innings, he's coming up on 100 pitches now. Yeah, Matty, I think one of the things you want to do is try to drive that pitch count up. And D-Row, if you're the offense right now, you're sitting in a pretty good spot. He's out. Yeah, usually the starting pitcher doesn't get to see the lineup three okay. times through. I wouldn't be shocked if there's a move made to the bullpen here. So next to hit is Chris Bryant. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch of the A.B. now. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. The guy in the mound is having one heck of a night, but the downside of that, if you're going to strike out a lot of guys, your pitch count is going to be high, so this gives the offense some kind of hope as this game's getting down to the end. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. 
fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Hey, that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. The 1 2. Down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1 and 2. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. The center field. Mike Yastrzemski digging Mike. in at the plate. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at-bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to nope, see how he down. approaches this next A.B. Ball one to start the at-bat. The 1-0. Ball. Low scoring no game thanks. thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. Outside, three and oh now. No surprise here that they're working around this big boy. Certainly not going to let this guy tie the game up with something fat out over the heart of the plate. Here it comes, the 3-0. Hey. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. McNeil has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Giants down in order. They're down 2-1. Now at the plate, Brandon Nimmo, who went down on strikes in his last at bat. Brandon Nimmo. First pitch on the way. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0 0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. Ball, Fastball just, just misses. That's ball one. A couple of lefties start to get loose now in the bullpen. Liner towards second. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Hey, they say in this game you better have a short memory. Well, that's obviously the case with this batter. He came into that third at bat after getting his ticket punched twice and was able to get a single. So here's Francisco Lindor now. Fouled off. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Fouled away. Nimmo on at first, nobody out. And it's fouled away. And he looks at a ball, one and two. From the stretch. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier.
So here's Pete Alonzo. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. A hit and two tries for him so far. The 1 0 pitch. He's running. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. And it'll be in time. Posey delivers the strike to get him. Wow, that's a big time throw right there. And it's a tall task to throw him out stealing a bag. But he got rid of it quickly. And it was a good job down there applying the quick tag. They'll have to feel good about that one. Here's the one and one pitch. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Set. Here's the 3 1. Oh, and here's a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit out to deep left field. And this one's not coming back. This is a long home run. A solo shot here to left, and the Mets have taken a 3 to 1 lead. That's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Stepping in now, Michael Conforto. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Slitter that misses too low, and he's behind 2-0 oh now. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, oh, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Look out. Right All up. over the place now. 3-0. and oh. Next pitch coming up here will make it an even 100 for the ball game. The 3-0. Oh. Finds the zone. Strike one. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3-0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's keyholding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. Full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. Throw to first oh. with time to spare, and the side is retired. Mets do pick up a run on this solo shot. Bottom third of the order, 7-8-9, due up to start the seventh. It's now 3-1 Mets. 